Hello Curlies, it's Mary and welcome back to The Curly Closet. So if this is your first time visiting my channel then welcome and if you are returning to my channel then welcome back. There's a reason why today I have a full face of makeup on but my lips just look a little bit ashy and it's because today I'm going to be doing some lipstick swatches for you live on camera. It is none other than my favourite, favourite, favourite makeup brand which is Fenty Beauty. Um, and today's video is going to be swatches of the new individual 2018 Mademoiselle lipsticks. Just to be clear, I have the actual set of the 10 new Mademoiselle lipsticks here. You can buy them as a set, but from today, Boxing Day, they are also available as individuals. Now, the set itself costs £115 in the UK, I believe that's correct. Um, which I got directly from Harvey Nichols. On the back you have all of the shades, the new 2018 shades that are available as individuals um, in this very cute Pentagon packaging. So this comes out of here like so. Of course it has the Fenty Beauty um, packaging logo which is you know like it's immediately recognizable. It opens up like so one thing i am very happy about with this is that it can literally just sit on your dressing table like this and then you can pick the individual um lipsticks out if that's what you choose to do i don't know which of these i'm gonna like i haven't tried any of them yet i would like you to comment below and let me know as i of course go through them and try them on which ones are your favorites on me and which ones you'll be purchasing these are priced at £16 each and $18 in the US. If you find a colour of this that you really, really love, I do think £16 is a fairly decent price. But for me, I would make sure that I got a colour that I really, really love before spending £16. That's just me personally. So if you don't have any of these yet, they come in these very small holder, lipstick holder. It's very, it's thin though. It's thinner than your average lipstick. Um, and... Then it just opens up like this and then of course you turn the bottom and the lipstick comes up like this. Now one thing about this packaging that I do love, number one is very slender, it fits into your hand really nicely. Number two is very easy to just pop into a little bag of yours and just go. Um, but I also like the fact that this is cut diagonally. The sh sharp, can I call it that? <laughs> the, the, the sharper edge. Um, for me works really well for just lining outside my lips and then I just go around with the lipstick and fill in and that's the colour done. So the first <laughs> one I'm going to be trying is Pumpkin Rose which is described as Rich Marigold. It's orange clearly. It's an unusual orange though. It's just not like a fluorescent orange, it's warm orange. I do like this colour, but not really on my lips. In person, it just looks kind of pasty. It just looks pasty. On camera, the colour shows up actually more brightly. Obviously, I've got lighting and stuff going on here, so it looks a bit different. I think if I had a brown lip liner or like a brown outline to my lips and I just wanted to add a little bit of a pop of colour, I'd put this in the centre. But I will be walking out of my house looking like this. No. But it is an interesting colour. It's not boring. You're never going to be called boring in this colour. But I feel like I look crazy. I look crazy. <laughs> so next up we have a colour called Thick. As in, ooh she thick. <laughs> Which is described as a sultry mauve. Now I do like a mauve because it's moving towards the purple kind of end of the spectrum and I find that purples really look nice on me and so do mauves when it's the right tone of mauve. So we're gonna see how this looks. This is looking definitely mauve. I do have a liquid lipstick that's kind of this colour from Colourpop which does look really nice on me. Mm, I don't know how it's gonna go on though as a matte. Let's see. Ooh, um, I'm getting more dusky pink from this. Hmm. Um, 
I prefer slightly darker mauve. Again, it looks slightly different in person to how it looks on camera, but okay. I don't hate it though. It's not like there are some pinks that really show up really, really bright on my lips. This is a little bit more muted. I do like this pink, but again, I think I'm going to need a lip liner. I'm going to need a darker lip liner because the actual line of my lips is very dark. And without it, it almost looks like the colour of the lipstick is blending into my skin tone. You kind of don't, you're not quite able to tell where my lips end and where the lipstick begins. I don't think I'm going to say it's my favourite, but I do like it. Brown lip liner, I'm going to need some help. Okay, so the next colour is Tiger Teeny, which is described as exotic orange. It's how bright are you? Oh, now this is shop hopping bright. <laughs> shop hopping. But I like it though. It's pretty. How it's going to look on me, I don't know, but I like it. I feel like I'm coming straight out of an 80s pop video in person but somehow on camera it actually looks very flattering <laughs> I don't know why I think for the same reason as pumpkin rose I would use a lip liner like I can see where my lips end and the color begins it's not really that um, but just to tone it down a little it's not that I don't like the color I really do but it needs a bit of toning down if you're not going to wear it for Instagram. Editorially, it really will like pop off the page if you're taking photos. But in person, you look crazy. And also, um, my teeth are looking more yellow with this colour. Like, unless you have very, very, very white teeth, I think in person you might want to stay away from this. I feel slightly Grace Jones-esque in this colour though. <laughs> and for that reason I do like it I would probably wear it for Instagram but for real life I would tone it down with something darker on the outside dark brown and then kind of give a little pop of color in the middle of my lips okay so the next color I have is called dragon mammy dragon mammy um, which is described as a tropical papaya so we're definitely getting into the brights right now it is it's bright is bright i like bright it has a pinkish hue to it which of course would go with the papaya theme because you know papaya has like orange red pink those kind of tones in no turning back now <laughs> oh okay The pros. I do think it's a pretty colour. <laughs> the cons. Um, not necessarily a pretty colour on me. It's just a little bit too bright. Just a little bit too bright. And if you think it look, looks bright on camera, you should see in person. Like, I'm looking at myself in the mirror. This is Coco the Clown. I don't even know if I try to line it with a... Even if I try to line this with a brown, is this going to work for me? I don't know. Tell me in the comments what you think. I... Is there a way I could make this work? I don't think so. It's pretty though. Ballerina blackout. And my very first impression says this is going to be a no but i reserve judgment until it actually goes on it's pink it's very very pink <sighs> this is gonna have to be like a possibly a lip liner situation or a dark like a brown lipstick dark brown lipstick situation to mute this out a bit I'm looking at myself, <laughs> I'm looking at myself on screen and I'm trying my best not to laugh. 
but this ain't for me this is not for me it's a cute pink though it's cute on somebody but not on me i don't even know if brown lip liner could save this i i don't mm, no okay the next color is called flamingo acid and it looks a little bit darker which is going more into the zone of what I like. So let's see what happens with this colour. I immediately am happy. It looks in the purplish family. Um, I don't know how bright it's going to go on though. Ooh. Okay. I'm getting dark pink vibes. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen i think we might have found ourselves a winner i love this color i wouldn't normally go for a color like this it's pink but it's like it's bold pink it's not like crazy bright pink it's not barbie pink either it's bold it's bright but it's not too like bubblegum pink for me. It's, this is nice. This, this is a color I like. I am loving this one. Ooh. So um, Flamingo Acid is described as bright berry. Yes, agreed. This is bright berry. Oh, I think this is my favorite so far. There might be, I've got four more to go, so it might be another one that I find I really love but yeah okay I feel like we're getting into the zone of colors that are more my vibe so the next color is violet fury it's not a tame one it looks quite bold but I feel like I'm gonna like this I have a good feeling about this one violet fury is described as vivid violet I'm liking this already okay Fenty Beauty hit me hit me Hit me with your rhythm stick. Hit me. Oh. That's a yes already. Ooh. It's, it's almost blue toned. Almost blue. Oh. <laughs> now. I think if I wanted to do more of an artistic look, this would be beautiful. Um, I think for everyday wear, I would mix this. Sleek has a colour called Mulberry, which is the deepest, darkest, purple, almost black colour. I would put this colour here in the centre to kind of just give it that slight ombre look to it, which would look beautiful um however maybe if i was having a bold moment and i just didn't care i might walk out of the house like this okay i'm lying i don't think i would <laughs> but it's instagram ready this is an instagram ready color for sure like if you really want to like make a statement this would be it i do like it okay this next color looks fun but i don't see myself walking up to the high street with this on um it's called Tex and Caicos of course after the islands Tex and Caicos islands it is a tropical blue basically uh is that blue or is that teal so yes it's described as a deep teal color which it appears to be so far wow okay yeah this is not i'm gonna wear this to the high street kind of color but there's something about it i do actually like again it's for the artistic factor the instagram factor you know just a little something that's a bit different but it is from fenty beauty so are we really surprised no i'd be really interested to see how it would look if you used clapback which is a very very deep blue almost black 
clap back as an outer colour and then put this in the middle and kind of create an ombre with that. I'd be very interested to see how that would look. But for the, you know, sea blue, bluey green, azure, blue, yes, it's pretty. Okay, so the next colour I am excited about because it's moody and I love moody colours. I know I'm that person on camera, like I'm always smiley and Brian. I am that person, but even with that personality, there's something about moody dark colours that is just like, oh. So this colour is called F and Black. Yeah, F and Black. So F and Black is described as navy black. It's kind of like clap back, but clap back is a bit more blue, I think. Wow. Okay. Um, okay. First impressions are, <laughs> I look so weird like this. Um, I don't know if it's really blue black, but it's looking pretty black on me. don't know about navy black maybe on somebody else's lips it would come out a little bit more navy than black but on my lips it just looks straight black it's giving me just moody life right now if I felt like wearing like an all black outfit one day just to go somewhere like I can picture this with like leather boots black leather like leather or like rubberized kind of material like from head to toe some like gold or silver accents zips etc and then this yes statements this will be a full life statement i like it though <laughs> i love it it's so weedy oh, it's just like mean but in a good way love it okay so the last but not least color is i quit i'm gonna be honest and say of all of the colours I saw the swatches for online, this was probably my least favourite just because it looked kind of grey. But now I have it here in person and I look at it, it looks brown, like a nude brown. And the description is true mink, which is supposed to be like a kind of a mid tone brown, neutrally brown, not really a warm brown, but a neutral brown. So, yeah. Okay, so I think I was right. So, it's described as true mink. I think on me it looks more stone in colour. And I remember there was a period of time a couple of years ago when stone was a really popular colour. I don't know, it's, it's not grey. It's not straight grey, but it's kind of, it's kind of brown, but on me it looks kind of a little bit more grey. I can go to the high street looking like this, but I feel like you'd have to play up your blush or something because otherwise you are going to look a slightly casket ready. In person though, it's actually not ashy. It's a weird colour on me, I'm not used to seeing myself in this colour. But I, I don't hate it though, I don't hate it. I don't even dislike it to be honest. I do quite like it. Um, I think I would go for a darker lip liner or darker lipstick on the outside and just work with this on a very, very neutral day, which is very rare for me, but it can work. Okay, so final thoughts. As you can see, I've come back to the one that like, really made an impression on me first of all, and this is Flamingo Acid. Listen, this colour is, yeah, this is my favourite for everyday wear. I would say this colour is just me. I love berry colours in general anyway. I feel like berries, deep reds always look nice on pretty much most people, um, but especially on me. So yeah, I've chosen my top three favourites. This is my favourite Flamingo Acid for everyday wear. For making a statement, a real life statement I would say F in black love that color 
it's so dark and so moody i love it um and my third is actually tiger teeny because uh, i don't know the orange is just very popping um i would have to try it with i have to kind of try to find a way to make it work because i feel i feel like it doesn't quite work on me just straight on the lips bold maybe i'm wrong tell me in the comments if i'm wrong but um i can tweak it a little bit i can see myself trying to find a way to tweak it a bit to just make it give a little bit of a statement but be a little bit more wearable in terms of just my general review of all 10 um they all go on just in a beautifully creamy way um they are not fully transfer proof like if i give my hand a kiss right now you can see <laughs> your lipstick is gonna come off on your boo um if you wear this and kiss somebody but at the same time um i think that also means that it's creamy it's not really drying on the lips so you know you're gonna kind of have to pick and choose do you want it to kind of dry your lips out but stay put or do you want it to be creamy and kind of transfer a bit your choice um i prefer it to be a little bit transferable but that way it's actually quite easy to take off um i took off each one of the makeup wipe and even though a couple of them the stronger colors kind of stayed gave a little bit of a tiny tint to my lips but they were not hard to remove at all but i feel like i quit and ballerina blackout I feel like those are a little bit more patchy on me but that's just because of the nature of those kind of colours. You really do have to apply them really well in order for them to look even. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're not um, very vibrant colours. They are. The, the colour payoff is very strong but I feel like with those kind of shades you do have to give a little bit of extra oomph in order for it to really look good on my kind of lip colour if you follow my drift so loves essentially that is my review of the fenty beauty new 2018 mademoiselle lipstick collection or should i say the addition to the collection if you enjoyed this review then please give it a very big thumbs up more than that though can you share it with somebody share it with a friend share it with someone that loves fenty share it with anybody who's a makeup lover i would really appreciate it also, if you'd like to see more reviews like this, then please subscribe, hit the red subscribe button below, click the bell for notifications. It just means you get notified every time I upload a video, hopefully. All the information regarding the products, regarding what I'm wearing, is going to be in the down bar or the description box below the video. But if you have any questions, any specific questions that you would like me to answer regarding this video, the products, what I'm wearing, etc then definitely leave me some comments leave me some questions below in the comments section i would really love to correspond with you i love having this community where we can talk about stuff that we love like hair and makeup so as always thank you so much for watching wishing you health happiness and beautiful hair and of course in this case makeup <laughs> i'll see you again soon on the curly closet take care bye